The derivative of cosine squared x can be found easily using the chain rule, but if you don't know the chain rule, we can also take the derivative of this function using the product rule, because really it is just a product. Cosine squared is the same as cosine times cosine, so let's rewrite it like that and take the derivative using the product rule, which I've written here for your reference, f prime g plus g prime f. In our case, rewriting cosine squared as cosine times cosine, it's clear that f is cosine and g is cosine. So applying the product rule here should be pretty easy. Let's begin with f prime g. That's going to be the derivative of the first function, the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine x, multiplied by g, the second function, so cosine x. Now the second term, g prime f, is going to be exactly the same thing, since the two functions getting multiplied here are the same. We would have the derivative of the second function, so the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, and then we would multiply by f, the first function, which is cosine. So applying the product rule, we get that as our derivative, and since we just have two of the same term, we can simplify this to negative two sine x cosine x. And if you know your trig identities, we can go one step further further. 2 sine cosine is the same as sine of 2x, so we could finally write this as negative sine of 2x, and that's the derivative of cosine squared. Again, that's because 2 sine x cosine x is equal to sine of 2x. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.